are so tired. right in for it she's like yeah pancakes so these are actually the coconut baby cakes from the baby health nut cookbook okay you can dip that after dip 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 I usually don't eat this early, like first thing in the morning, but I'm just really hungry when I get up now. Just a little bit of maple syrup. All right, good morning, official morning. So today I'm gonna be sharing what me and Sage eat. I have no idea, I don't have plan, like meals planned today. So it's gonna be very real. Uh, she's been having the dad special a lot for breakfast, which is buttered toast, strawberries, um. avocado sometimes, and the C-H-E-H-S-E. I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's a mix of toast, fruit, and keju. So today I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna make her some pancakes. Um, oatmeal is another good go-to that we do. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. Have my herbal coffee. And then I'm probably gonna go for a walk. Hi. Look who has her first pony. You have a, a kitchen clip? Oh. Where are you taking me? There's cars, Missy. Oh, stick. Stick. We are back from our walk and I'm craving a little snack, so BRB. Today's video is sponsored by Built Bar. I'm so excited to be working with them. They make some of the best tasting protein bars. They are not chalky. They have a really cool chewy texture to them. I like to, pro tip, put mine in the fridge. You can even put them in the freezer, but basically when they get cold, they get extra chewy. Just like regular chocolate, it just tastes better when it's refrigerated. And they have so many delicious flavors. Uh, they have the mint brownie. They have a raspberry one. A salted caramel is a favorite of mine. I am feeling a little peckish. Actually, I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna have a mid-morning snack. Let's see. I think I'm craving the mint brownie. This one here has 17 grams of protein. They're low in sugar and they taste really good. Mm. See that chew? This could be my favorite. I say that about everyone. Matt, mint brownie is the best one. Let me show you the texture. Do you see that brownie center? You got this like sweet, fudgy, chewy center with that hint of mint, and it honestly just tastes like a mint brownie. As I mentioned in my previous video, I first discovered Built a couple years ago, and I saw it all over the internet. I didn't know if it was something that I was gonna like. I took the plunge, I ordered myself a box, and I just did a variety box, and I have been hooked ever since. They're so good, you just order them online. You guys can use my coupon code, HealthNet10, and save 10% off. I'll have a link down below in the info box. Definitely let me know what flavor you are most excited to try. And as a busy working breastfeeding mama, this is like the perfect thing for me just to grab and go, get my protein in, have a sweet treat, and like who doesn't love protein that tastes like chocolate, you know? They're so good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna finish this, get Sage a snack, and then we are gonna hit the pool and tire her out. <laughs> Goal of today, get Sage tired so she has a good nap and everyone else can get some stuff done. Say hi. Yeah. Hello. In the spa? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh my God, it's so warm. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Matt set the pool temperature pretty warm. It's like 84 degrees in here, Fahrenheit. We're gonna do a little swim. Cause like all this. So this is Sage's lunch. So it's a mixture of a chickpea, you know, this one is the red lentil pasta. I really like this brand. It's just one ingredient. And then Matt mixed it with some chili. We had meal prepped in the freezer. Sage likes to pick up the pasta with her fingers. Is that good? All right, I was gonna have a smoothie, but we ended up staying in the pool a little bit longer. So I think I'm gonna do some surprise, surprise avocado toast. Maybe, with, huh? yeah, huh? Uh, maybe with like an egg or something. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do some avocado toast, maybe with a fried egg on top. I'm pretty hungry, so I think we're gonna skip the smoothie and just go straight into lunch. Yeah. Okay, the pool was worth it. It was a nice little morning activity. Honestly, having a toddler, I feel like makes you play again like normally i wouldn't be in the pool in the morning before lunch um, but i also want to tire her out so she has a good good lunchtime nap uh let me know if you want me to do an updated video on sage's current schedule as i've mentioned we are transitioning to one nap a day which is crazy because i feel like i've heard parents talk about this transition my stomach is growling okay anyways i've heard about this transition and we're in it and it just seems so weird that like she's just turning into a big girl She's feeding Matt. She gets bored, she... Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. One for you. One for daddy. There you go. She's sharing, aw. Okay, that's the cutest thing ever. Okay, uh, I gotta get some lunch. All right, so she didn't finish all of her chili pasta, so I'm gonna do some avocado and then maybe some strawberries. Oh, there's still room in that tummy. And now she's having some strawberries. We basically just keep offering her food until she says, all done. <laughs> I had to document Matt eating her leftover. Hmm. I wanted to go to waste. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't appreciate it. And here is my lunch. So I got some avocado toast with two fried eggs, some feta, strawberries. I'm going to add on a little bit of fresh lemon and then there's salt and pep on here as well. You are so tired. Huh? You are. You got to huh? go down for your nap. Okay. Because Airbnb has four forks and it's like the struggle. I guess I'll just wash this one. Mm -hmm. mm. That hits the spot. So Sage is up from her nap and I'm just making her a little yogurt bowl. I did this yesterday and she really liked it. I just whipped in some peanut butter into some, this is just almond milk yogurt. You just mix it together. I'm just doing a little one just to tie her over because we're gonna go do some grocery shopping before dinner. All right, and then I have some berries. And just a little bit of chia seed. You can just mix that in. So yeah, she had this yesterday and really liked it. I just try to mix in the chia seeds so they can hydrate a bit, but I think she's gonna enjoy it. And then to take with us, I'm just bringing one of these snack cups and I'm gonna fill it up with some snacks. I like to do a variety, it's hard with one hand. Some brown rice puffs and I have some freeze dried banana. I just like to crumble it a bit just so they're not rounds. If you've watched my baby food hacks video, this is a great accidental baby food. I usually do the banana and the strawberries. You okay? So you're literally gonna wash the earth. So uh, Sage is helping me. Put away all my freshly folded laundry. Thank you. I mean, it's too cute not to stop her, but. Whoa, look at you walking. Oh my God. Okay, get the laundry. Put it in the basket. Can you reach? Yeah, put the sock in there. Good job. I mean, she's kind of kept it together. <laughs> 
Okay, we just gotta do your hair and then we're gonna go and do some grocery shopping. Wow, thank you. Look at you, you're so good at laundry. Yeah. All right, so here is Sage's dinner. It got some rice cooked in bone broth with a scrambled egg. I also added in some garlic powder, black pepper, and the tiniest bit of sea salt. I have some avocado and then just some steamed broccoli with some olive oil and garlic powder as well. I'm also gonna just sprinkle on some nutritional yeast. Okay, so I got that, got her water. And you know, usually she does have fruit with her dinner, but um, I'll just see how she does with this. And then I can always offer her some strawberries or banana on the side. Sage is eating her dinner, full on meltdown two minutes ago. Just some big feelings, but we sang a song and she is a dinosaur eating her greens. Right? My name is Sage. I am a dinosaur. Jump, jump, jump. I love my broccoli. We'll work on that one. Is that Tuesday? No, it's not Tuesday. Okay, so made some tacos. We were originally gonna do these on hard shell tacos. We burnt them, it's been a long day and I'm so tired, thank God Chloe made dinner. This is just some ground beef, black beans, and a pico de gallo with some jalapeno and cilantro on top. Mmm, the tortillas are really good. They're these gluten-free almond ones from Siete. Mmm, really good. Some of their, their other ones have crumbled on me, but this one, I just warmed it up for 15 seconds on each side, and they're really, really good. So I'm gonna eat this, enjoy my little sparkling water, Probably gonna maybe have some ice cream later. I don't know. <laughs> Sage is sleeping. Um, and we are just on a Skype call with my family, planning out our trip. They're coming here next week for like 10 days and we're doing Disney and it's gonna be so much fun. And it's gonna be a lot of kids in this house. So maybe I'll vlog that, but thanks so much for watching. And a huge thank you again to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys use my coupon code to save 10% off. I'll have a link down below and I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. I hope you guys have a fabulous night. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mm.